Hey Izzy, tried to give you a call there man, I had no signal, but I wanted to let you know that I've sent the sun all the way over to you. I hope you can grab it now and get some beautiful shots on the east coast of Australia. today's adventure, I'm off and I'm going to do a collaboration with another photographer on the other side of the globe. Izzy Abuyala is a photographer who's based in Australia, and we, myself, being based in Ireland, at the moment, we were almost at Equinox in spring, so it's around 12 hours apart. So Izzy came up with a fantastic idea. He goes shoot the sunrise, and I'll go shoot the sunset at exactly the same time. So the idea is that I head to the west coast of Ireland and shoot the sunset, and as the sun sets, it will begin to rise over on the coast of Australia. What light would we get? What type of photography would we get? And what type of images would we both be able to produce while sharing the sun over 10,000 miles away? So this is my adventure for this week. Come join me and see. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me at almost the furthest westerly point in Ireland and I'm coming to uh, an area to, be able to take some photographs at sunset of two quite iconic islands. Now they have been featured in the last number of years in some motion pictures, the likes of Star Wars have featured them as Luke Skywalker's home and they are the Skelligs. And where I've come here now is to a viewpoint where I can see both of the islands that lie off the coast of Ireland. Now I'm here at a crystal clear blue sky day. However, there is a lot of haze and a lot of mist in the ocean there as well. So even right now, the islands are barely visible, even if I zoom right in. And I'm armed again here with my long lens. I'm coming with my Sigma 150 to 600 again for today. And what I'm aiming to do is to get some nice up close images of these two islands. And I'm here also for sunset. Now I'm around about maybe an hour and a half away from sunset. As you can see, the sun is quite bright. But if we do have that haze and get catched by the light, I think it could be a fantastic photograph to get. So let's wait around, we're going to see as the light will drop and hopefully able to get a nice shot of these two iconic islands here at sunset. Looking through the main camera right now, I'm zoomed in at around about maybe 500 mil. So I've got some really really nice uh, framing here of both those islands and you can see that they're quite jagged as well in their look and feel, but also you can see that they're barely visible. So like I said, that haze that's in the air here is really, really strong at the moment. Now, the island on the left-hand side is Skellig Bjog, and the island on the right-hand side is Skellig Michael. And what you normally have on that then as well is some beehive huts that the old monastic uh, settlement that was on there. The idea behind this is that being the most further western point, 
They thought that it was the closest you could get to God, so where the sun would set, and they would set up settlements out here. And it must have been very hard for them to be able to live on that for a long period of time. Now they're sheltered as well, where they've built the beehives directly from the prevailing westerly winds, and obviously the waves that will come from the Atlantic. But it's a beautiful island, and there's some really, really great detail as well that's on these islands. So hopefully, like I said a moment ago, that this haze will either stay and get caught by the sun, or will dissipate at sunset and I'll get some nice light as well streaming in from the right hand side, lighting up the right hand side of both of those islands. Sun now is starting to set, you can see it right behind me here. And what I've done for the last maybe 45 minutes is I've gone around with my camera handheld and I've walked along this road here to try and find some different compositions of the two islands. And what I've done is I've moved actually 100 meters further on down to get a bit more separation between the two islands because they were very close to crossing over on each other. And by doing that as well, you know, I think it gives a nice photograph. There is a, pos a possibility for me to be able to find an area where I can be completely separated out, but it means me going on somebody's property and I obviously don't want to do that so what I'm doing at the moment here now is I have my camera set up I'm at f11 and I'm at 1 400th of a second so I'm still relatively fast but there is no cloud above me and this haze looks like is the sea fog because I can see it all around the coast so it must be covering the coast of Ireland today but I think that is going to be able to give me a lovely shot because the light will be completely diffused before it sets and it heads over to Australia over to Izzy when he catches it then for sunrise. I hope you get some good conditions as well Izzy but for now I'm going to continue on here and see what I can get from this gorgeous day on the west coast of Ireland. The sun has well and truly gone down now and uh, I'm waiting for a small bit of residual light that does seem to be hitting some of the clouds that are above the uh, islands and it's very subdued, very very subtle and very very hazy. There was much much more haze on the horizon than I originally thought because as the sun was setting it almost disappeared into the darkness of the clouds before it even uh, hit the horizon. But I still think that I got some lovely shots even though they are kind of very pastel colours and such like that it's still nice nonetheless. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wait for the sun to go completely, wait until blue hour and see then if I can get any sort of residual light that will come up and the clouds that are sitting above the uh, islands at the moment. Well that's it, blue hour has come and gone and I managed to get a couple of nice shots actually I think. So now it's time for me to pass it over to you Izzy. I hope that you get the beautiful light that I just had here as it now makes its way across the globe and lands on the east coast of Australia. So thank you very much for joining this episode. I hope you've enjoyed coming along on this journey with me. If it's your first time on this channel please hit the subscribe button and go give Izzy a subscribe as well please. And until the next time, Schlange Fall.